Hi, good evening. I hope everybody's doing all right. Um, it's like around, uh, according to the clock over, it's like 10.39. But I kind of wanted to give you an update. Uh, school's been doing very good. It's been really nice. Uh, making the grades. I accidentally skipped a class today. It's very bad of me. But, uh, I say, it was an accident. I had to get a few things done over at the... Uh, the uh, Global Ministries, I think that's what it's called. Anyways, I had to get that done and taken care of. But, um, yeah, if you have noticed, I got my hair cut um, a little while back. I'm not exactly used to it just yet. I'm so used to having such long hair. Always had long hair. Uh, I'm going to grow it back out, though. I kind of miss my long hair. So you get to see me when I'm at night. A raving little... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, but anyways, basically one thing I kind of wanted to touch base with is that I have been doing some research on speaking tongues. And uh, I just wanted to kind of... I don't have exactly the references at the moment, but I have been doing it. And um, I'm basically going to get and give you some of my personal experiences that I have been uh, learning this week about uh, speaking in tongues. I think it's rather dangerous to be rather dogmatic about this particular position because I think, I still believe it is a matter of conscience. Um, because I have seen both sides. I have seen the flip side in which it's like really, really dangerous. And then I have seen the other side in which it's, you know, it's not, it's actually true worship. But uh, at the same time, I think it should be, you know, not be thrown around very carelessly as if it's just something for our own personal use. Anything that we have gift from God, it's actually used for another person's benefit. I do believe that this is the reason why Scripture says that if you're going to speak in tongues in a congregation, you should have an interpreter. That's just the biblical way to do it. And there has never been an instance in which... Well, let me go ahead and rephrase that. According to the epistles, um, he never encouraged um, massive amounts of people to speak in tongues all at the same time. In fact, he actually went ahead and said uh, that we should do orderly worship. But anyways, that's one of the things that I just want to make sure I... That's right before I go into but anyways, um, for the first time this week, I was able to go ahead and go to church, sit down among regular young people my age, and um, it was refreshing because there was people there, and they were just worshipping God. And I have once seen one time in which speaking in tongues was actually true, and... Uh, it was, it was different because, see, over where I came from, it was done in, like, in a mass, massive setting. Everybody was speaking in tongues all at the same time, and so many bad things happened during that time. So I know it is possible to have the appearance that you are speaking in tongues, but I really don't believe that they were truly speaking in tongues because there was a massive difference in behavior. I mean, I believe that a true Christian, if they truly have the gift, it would also show an attitude. I really do. Because then otherwise, I do believe it's more along the lines of manipulation of the spirit. And uh, it never addresses that danger. Have you ever noticed that? It never does say, the Bible never said that, you know, to never abuse the Holy Spirit by not uh, speaking in tongues wrong or anything like that. And that was obviously what they were doing. So it kind of makes you think it through, you know, that it's, there's nothing in the scripture, you can look at this yourself anyways, you can do this one, you can look it up yourself, and there is nothing in scripture that says that speaking in tongues is evidence that, um, that you're saved, it is not evidence of it, it is a gift that is given to people, and uh, a lot of charismatic movements uh, like to go ahead and say that, um, that you have to have um, 
the gift of speaking in tongues in order to have evidence that you're saved. You know how you know that you're saved, is that it's a witness into your heart. I mean, I know 100% for a fact that I am saved. I don't need speaking in tongues to let me know that. But there's nothing in scripture that even supports that in fact. It just shows it as a sign for non-believers. Notice in the time of Pentecost, when they were speaking in tongues, there was other people, and they were speaking in other tongues, regular languages, and they were noticing that. And it was a sign for unbelievers that this was an extraordinary event. And uh, you know what I don't understand is that when I am looking at the, the screen, I'm looking at the screen right down here, but the cameras are way up here, and I keep looking down here for some reason. Well, that doesn't throw anybody off. And at the same time, I don't even understand why the why the screen right here just turned its color. I have no idea on that one. <laughs> uh, don't listen to me. I'm this is this is Ireland poetess rambling in the middle of the night when she is completely not lucid. I'm trying to g grasp biblical concepts while I'm tired. I've had like four and a half hours of sleep the other night. I've had, during the day, I would have to say a half a pot of coffee, along with a caramel macchiato, which I get very fond of when I moved here to Virginia. It's very nice. I highly recommend it, by the way. Unless you're not a Starbucks fan, so don't listen to me. Anyways, I just kind of want to give you an update there. I'll go ahead and do some more research so that way I can kind of quote it by scripture and to kind of give you evidence of uh, um, basically what I'm looking for in my research is uh, particular instances and in quotes in which they actually did. But at the same time, I think it would be nice to go ahead and look for true instances of speaking in tongues. Granted, I am a Baptist, but I would have to say that I don't believe that all gifts just ceased. Now we'll come to a time when it will cease, but it never did say when it starts ceasing. So I don't believe that just completely was done away with. At least I don't know. I would like to give it a benefit of a doubt. I think that would be wise. But anyways, just want to give you an update. Thank you for putting up with me this late at night. So uh, I guess. Uh, you all have a good night, or a day, wherever you're at. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll go ahead and uh, give you a part two, and I'll do it when I'm actually awake. All right, you all have a good night. God bless you.